Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and boy have I been busy these last few days. Wow. So I, like I said in the last video, have been looking on Facebook for some different shelving type things to use in my booth to help display things and all that. Well, I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found this really cool curio cabinet. It's a corner curio cabinet and it was listed for $40. I, I messaged her. Uh, I said, will you do 35? She said, yes. Well, I went over to her house and not only did she have the curio cabinet, but she was clearing out the house because her, her mom had just been moved to an assisted living place. So there was pretty much everything else that you would have in a house that you don't need. So I was talking to her a little bit and we got on the discussion of, well, are you gonna have a yard sale? What are you doing with all the stuff? And I said, well, I mean, do you have anything else that you'd like to sell? <laughs> so we ended up going into her kitchen the different bedrooms and things and that's what I'm about to show you right now some different household things that I bought incidentally had wasn't planned at all and I was able to get them all with like this private little picking job that I went on uh, so let me show you that right now all right so I'm just gonna jump first and foremost right over there to the Pyrex section that's the probably the most interesting um, development so right here we have this really fun flamingo pink they, that's what they people call it online, flamingo pink. And it is a covered casserole type dish. It is Pyrex, very fun. I paid $8 for it, that was her price. And I didn't um, quiver. I was like, fine, $8, good price for me. And I'm gonna put that in the booth for probably, well, let's say about 25. If I can do 30, I will, but we'll see. This here was kind of fun. This was towards like the end of our uh, walking about and we were coming up from the basement. Yes, we were in the basement too. Coming up from the basement, up the stairs, and this was attached to the wall. I said, by chance, do you want to sell the pencil sharpener? Uh, I mean, that is if you feel like unscrewing it off the wall. And um, I was like, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> and she said, yes. So it's a really fun, cool Chicago Apsco pencil sharpener. And that should do pretty well online. Um, you know, maybe $15, maybe 20 if I can deal with it, but really awesome right here we have the pyrex primary three bowl set we're missing the fourth that's okay the fourth bowl would have been blue and pyrex is notably pyrex is is noted to do about two different runs of these and that would be sometime in the 40s 50s and then later in the 60s and you can tell that usually by the copyright dating on the bottom of these bowls not that it makes a huge difference, but I mean, if you're trying to get all of the same exact bowl and collect them one at a time, you should pay attention, I guess. Uh, it says right here, trademark, and that's how you know. Trademark was, at, you know, the later date, date bowls. TM reg, which means trademark registered, is the earlier. So they would have registered for the trademark, but not been granted it. So here we have these really fun three bowl set. These will go in the booth. Yes, you can put them online, but really they're kind of heavy and clunky. I don't feel like shipping them. So I paid $30, mm, you know, it's okay. $30 for these and these, and these are federal. I think it's called Salem Maple Leaf. I've dealt with them before. Um, let's see, federal, yes, there's the F with the shield and the maple leaf design. I'm gonna put these also in the booth. I think they're gonna bring about $5 a piece, I think. So we've got $30 invested here, or no, you know what I'm saying, $30 for all of that. I'm gonna put this in the booth for about 60. I hope I can do it. I hope they'll sell, and then five a piece on those. So pretty cool. I was just happy to find some of these. Usually anytime you see these, that goes for you know antique stores, uh, auctions anywhere i find these around here they just go up prices go up on those and i can never really get a hold of any of them so i'm glad to get some fresh pyrex back in my booth even if it's not going to bring me a ton of money and so i'm going to try for 60 but moving along here this was actually one of the first things that was that i bought from her i paid two dollars for it uh, i probably shouldn't have it's you know kind of clunky like i said this will go online but it's bigger than the light units that I normally buy. It's This one looks to be about, I don't know, 14 inches or almost 16 inches in square. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but it is really cool. I only paid $2, like I said, and it's a whole unit. So you've got the light and the shade. A uh, little damage here on the corner, but whenever it's up installed on the ceiling, you won't see that. I just thought it was cool, you know, really fun, 
frosted and clear design there for two dollars and these usually sell for me about twenty dollars if it's just the glass shade if it has the whole thing with it then you can add maybe another ten dollars to it I'm gonna list this for probably around $50 with shipping included. And I expect the shipping to be about $15 or $20. Um, that's just built in there. So, yep, 50 bucks, free ship. Here we have some towels. Yes, I, I'm a weirdo. I was like, by the way, do you have any bath towels that you'd like to sell? And she kind of looked at me and was like, you know, from like the 70s, like the floral ones. And she, she went into the bathroom and pulled these out. <laughs> and so I paid 50 cents a piece for them. They're in really nice shape. I don't know. I, I hate to... What am I trying to say? It seems like every older person only went shopping one time in 1970s and they never replaced anything in their bathroom. It's like, I can't keep a, a towel from like getting holes in it. I mean, it, it gets dingy after a few years. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what you guys do. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to put these online for $10 a piece like I normally do. Actually, that's wrong. I'm going to put them as a set because there are matching towels. So 20 bucks plus shipping. 20, I don't know, almost $30 then probably with shipping included. That'll be cool. Um, right here, this was in the basement actually. And I was walking over to it. This was towards the end, you know, of, of buying stuff from her house. And I walked over to this on the wall and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And she's like, just take it. So that's a great thing. This is a high class bar with exception of the bartender. So I don't know. This will probably go online, to be honest. I think that'll do much better online. So that's fantastic. There was also a wall full of these vintage pennant, pennants with a T, pennants. So I grabbed two of them that I thought were pretty cool. And I would have grabbed more, but she, at that point in the day, was just like, just they're take to pick some out take them so i didn't pay anything for these I, otherwise i would have grabbed more if there was a set price so i grabbed these two walt disney world it's a vintage logo and i grabbed sea world because i thought out of all of them i know that these are probably going to be more desirable than nebraska and ohio or whatever the you know whatever the other ones were so i grabbed these two and this was actually 1973 so i grabbed these two and pretty happy with them right here i grabbed this also in the kitchen it is a pestle stand with the well the wood pestle is that what they're called? this is called a pestle right yeah and then you've got the colander and the stand it's a ricer a riceroni right there so that sells for about i don't know 15 20 dollars i'm going to go for about 20. i sell these every time i put one of these on my booth it sells and I think I've been normally putting them in there for about $15. So I'm going to try for 20 because I think that I might as well do that. See what it does. Uh, and I paid five. I don't know if I said that. She originally said $8. I said, nah, well, did you take five? And she said, yes. So I figured I was buying enough of her stuff for her prices that I, I wanted a deal at some point. <laughs> I also bought these silverware pieces right here. Uh, we have here four spoons, three butter knives, four little spoons, and three forks. Unfortunately, I don't have a fourth fork. Well, anyway, these are gonna go online. They are actually, I don't know what who the make of them is. I didn't mention a lot of things about this. Okay, so not, I didn't go by myself. Barb, which is Aaron's sister, she went with me. So Barb went and she got another set of silverware and among that, she got some other things too. So we were cordial. I, I let her have some things <laughs> and uh, so that she can sell them or keep them or whatever. Cause she has started a, a, a she has started an Etsy store too. So if you want to give her store a little, uh, look, see it is, oh boy, what is it? <laughs> uh, I think it's called winking owl antiques. So winking owl antiques. If you want to take a look at that, I don't think she has very many items on there because she has many kids to deal with. So here we are. Wait. Oh, hey, what? That's like a magic trick. There's four forks now. Okay, cool. So now that's not all. I'm going to go ahead and show you something else. Actually, I have to clear the table because otherwise it's, this is not going to work. So, well, I'll just tell you. Uh, be right back. Okay, so like I said earlier, I'm forgetting a lot of little pieces to this story. But while I was there, 
I only had like $80 with me, so I'm like a fool sitting there trying to figure out, okay, what can I get? So yeah, that was a little bit stressful. And even down to, I had to go out to the car and get like quarters and things <laughs> to make it work. But I did. So I got home, I thought about it, went to, was going to sleep that, uh, that night. And I was just thinking about, oh, all those pennants that I left there. I could have gotten all of them. Why didn't I just grab them all? Well, I didn't grab them all because the two that I got were free and I felt weird just saying, I want all your pennants for free. So I was like, mm, well, I could, I could offer her like 50 cents a piece for them. And I'm like, but I don't know how many she has. So I was just like, look, I'll offer her $5 for the rest of the pennants. We'll see what she says. I'll go, I'll go back. I messaged her, 10 minutes go by. Yeah, she accepts $5 offer for the other pennants. I bought and I counted them. There's 20 pennants that I got. And they're really cool. I'm gonna show you in just a bit. But people are texting me. But I got all those pennants and not only that, I went back through the kitchen, back through the bedrooms, and I loaded up again. Yeah, I spent another $45. So let me show you what I got. Okay, and here we are one more time for the table. And the pennants did not fit on here, so I'll have to clear that in just a bit and show you the rest of the pennants. But we're gonna go through this and finish her up. So I meant, forgot to mention this on the first part of the video, but I actually got this on the first day that I went. It was free. This was among one of the first things I asked about. She obviously seen no value in it and said, just take it. It's, you know, not a huge seller, but it is cool. It's retro and it does work. So this is probably a $15 item online. So we will see how that does. As far as these little di uh, diamond things here are, are concerned, I paid 25 cents a piece. Not a bad price at all. And for me, I was really trying to test the waters to see what this kind of stuff did. I'm not looking forward to shipping them. They're just kind of a weird thing. <laughs> I mean, a weird size really but I think they can fit in a 12 by 12 by eight box as a set of four right here. That's really nice. And then we have a set of two like this. We'll see what they do. Hopefully they bring, hope, hopefully they bring good money. That'd be nice. I also got this little nut bowl here. I paid $2 for it. I'm, I should know better, but I'm just, I was just in the mood to buy a little nut bowl like this. I figure for the booth, it'll do really well. I have not had luck selling these online. Not really sure why, they just don't do that great, this particular kind. So, in the booth. Okay, deep in the cabinets in the kitchen, I found these cool vintage trays. This one has lots of wear on it with the metal here, but I only paid 50 cents for it. I really love the pink on here. And then I also bought this one here, this green one, really, really good shape. And I paid a dollar for that one. So, yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of that. Right here, I am so happy I went back. Yeah, stainless, elegance, Providence tableware. Exactly right. It is more flatware. I am so happy. Let's see if I can open the box. Can I? Can I? Oh, whoop. Nope. Can I? <sighs> okay. <laughs> there we are. So there we are with the design, kind of an art deco looking thing. And we have a six piece set, six butter knives, six forks, six big spoons, six little spoons, big spoons, little spoons. Hey, why aren't there more forks? Why are there so many spoons? I don't know. Anyways, I didn't just get this one box. No, by the way, I paid $5, $5. Yes. I didn't just get this one box. No, no, no. I actually got this one right here again is it the same thing yes it's the exact same pattern but no i didn't just get that one either i got another one huh, yeah right there uh, can you believe it me either really five dollars per box i paid same thing my goodness what a sale that would have been at the time she had to buy all of those or maybe they were all given as gifts by different i don't know <laughs> by different people with all the same taste. So I, I think I'm gonna be able to sell each box for just under $100 a piece. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I think that I, think that I can do that. I need to double check, but uh, it's com considering it's a complete set, it's with the box and it's in great shape, I think that I can ma manage that. 
this here, now I was passing by this a good 20 times while I was in that house. It was above a doorway. And I just finally had to ask because I was very curious about it. If, you know, I didn't know if she was going to say, oh, yeah, that's a family tr thing. We don't, we would never. I was just like, mm, what do you, you know, what do you think about this? This catches my eye. And she said, oh, how about $2? I thought that was spectacular. $2. And it is bubble glass or yeah, what they call bubble glass. You can see it bows out there. And it has these dried flowers and this foil. Really interesting um, picture, really. So I'm gonna, I think this will do better. Well, it'll do better online, but it's gonna be easier in the booth. So we'll see what I can manage to scrape out in the booth. And I'll get the antique mall, the antique mall that I rent in. I'll get her opinion on what she thinks because religious art, religious things, I don't know values of at all, but I kind of remember seeing stuff like this go really good at auctions. Good meaning high. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, moving right along, this is the Tupperware corner. Yeah, there she is. I passed on these the first day. I seen them the first day, but I passed on them like an idiot. Luckily, I went back. Like I said, these are Tupperware knives. I don't know if you can read there. Yeah, right there it says Tupperware. So that is great. And it comes with this little plastic thing. And it needs to be all washed, obviously, but it's going to look sparkling. sparkling. <laughs> And I love the marbling here, really nice. And I guess this is like a little knife sharpener. Right here, I passed on this too day one because it was up high in a cabinet. All I seen was this, and I was figuring it was just a dirt ratty old green uh, bowl. But luckily I pulled it down because it is not just one ratty old bowl. It's a whole bowl set of Tupperware with lids. Isn't that crazy? I mean, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I am so happy that I grabbed it and I have not looked online yet, but I am thinking that this is gonna go for about 40 bucks. That's just my intuition telling me that. And we also got some uh, uh, pictures, pictures, yeah. So I have not really got dabbled in the picture scene with Tupperware yet, but I just feel like maybe I should if the price was right. And the price was, oh, what was it? $2, no, $3, no. It was, I think it was either two or three dollars for the pair. I think she originally wanted two dollars for that one and a dollar for that one. So I think I paid two dollars then, whatever. So what I did not know about uh, things like this is this is a button right here on top. And if you press that in, it, it see here, see how it flex it? No, you can't because I'm moving. It flexes. Again, it's hard to tell. But this, this lid here it creates a movement that allows the suction to be released so that you can pull the top off so that is really fun really fresh we'll see what those do in the booth i think because i don't want to deal with shipping this so uh, i also grabbed these these were a dollar a piece might have been a mistake but it's this brown glass stuff and i figure that with fall coming up might as well just grab them they look to be pretty clean and they are made by Anchor Hawking. I don't know if they're that old. I don't think they're that old, but that's not the point. So we're gonna try them out in the booth and they are nice little loaf pans. And hopefully I can get like five to $8 a piece for them. Okay, right over here, we grabbed some doilies and things like that. We'll walk around the table and show you that. So these were real fun. I'm, okay, in total, I paid $3 for all of this fabric right here. Really good price. These are fun doilies with little Christmas embroidery on them. Tree, Santa running away somewhere. We got snowflakes. We got a snowman. And we got some wreaths. Oh, and uh, poinsettias, maybe. So we've got all those over there. And then we've got some ratty old, a lot of these are tour, to be honest. Okay, that's really weird. So we've got that one. This one is really pretty, really fun Christmassy one. Then we've got this red one here, also good. Really pretty green one. Perfect for Christmas coming up in the booth, especially. Then we got one of these with these nice pinwheel designs on it. Most of these, like you can see there, has some issues. So that's why I only paid $3 because they were not pristine. Uh, we got here really fun 
wheel, hard to see. Uh, this one is different. It's kind of like a square. See, it kind of goes up there and then I can't, I cannot describe this. It's neat. And then, oh, got another one of these floral. That's pretty. This one has issues. I can tell you that, but it's pretty. And then I got a really neat tablecloth. It's a round tablecloth. See, I folded it like a piece of pie. <laughs> yeah. I opened it up and it's in really great shape. It's a great deal for a dollar. I literally, I, I paid a dollar for this and then I, I paid a dollar. Oh, I didn't show you these peacocks. Uh, these are dresser scarves and things like that. Peacock, peacock. And then it has this blue edging on there with a the floral. So it's a, a nice, nice set. And then we got two of these little squares like that. Okay. So I paid a dollar for all the blue peacock stuff. And then I paid a dollar for the tablecloth and then a dollar for all the other little doily things. So I'm going to go ahead and clear a spot and then show you the rest of those pennants that I got. And then we're done. So be right back. I wanted to show you real quick the whole reason why I went to this lady's house to begin with. And it's for this curio cabinet. I thought this would look really cool in the booth. And it does actually come with shelves. I pulled them out, but it is a corner curio cabinet. And I paid $35 for it. It's pretty, pretty good size. And I think it'll do really well in the booth. And I might even be able to still sell it for close to $100, even though I paid, like I said, $35. And until it sells, it's just a really good piece to display items on. So not only did I buy that, where'd the letter? Oh, okay. So this was something that I went back and I got the second day. This was only $5 for this A-frame ladder. And it's actually a really nice size ladder uh, being, what is that? four or five steps. So I think this will do really well in the booth, maybe 40, maybe $40 in the booth. And I paid $5. Fantastic. Okay, we're back with the pennants. But one thing, I, for I did forget this. I bought these. These were picture frames that were still on the wall. It was sort of a touchy subject because, yeah, they were still on the wall. And they still had her mom and dad's wedding pictures in them. But yeah, I still asked. And she was happy to sell them to me for a dollar a piece. So they're fun, they're vintage, they're cool. So we'll see what they do somewhere. Don't even know why I bought them, but they're just neat, okay? So here are the pennants. This one says the Ozarks, I'll go through pretty quickly. One, quick, one question I have though is, if anybody's ever sold something like this, how do you ship it? I was thinking that I could just roll it, but it's because it's old felt, Hoover Dam, that I worry about creases and things like that. And I don't wanna deal with shipping it in like flat with a cardboard, that would just be a really a long thing going on. Washington, DC. These are so fun and vibrant. Oklahoma. What is that? Tennessee. Yeah, so pretty. So she told me that whenever they went on trips, obviously they got one of these wherever they went. And a lot of these are dated in the uh, 70s. Nashville. This one is so fun. It's all the glitter. New Mexico. Bush Gardens, Tampa, Florida. California. Silver Spring. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Oh. Mud Island, Memphis. This is a really interesting St. Louis Cardinals pennant. This would probably do better here locally. Texas. Los Angeles. It's really pretty too. LA. LA. I don't know what that means. 84. That looks like an airline, doesn't it? Hmm. Arizona. Then we got little a little Sea World. A little Rock City Lookout Mountain, 1976. And then Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Wow really neat so yeah these were all hanging in the basement on wood paneling all push pinned up on the wall and I like I said paid five dollars for all of these and that's a great price I think assuming they sell I mean geez I just figure that they're old they're advertising well you know they're cool so I grabbed them I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video thanks for watching 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, let me know um, the best ways to ship these if you have a clue. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.